Hey what's up everyone. Today on the channel we are going to replace the cracked touch glass for iPad 5. Like, subscribe and please comment below what you want to see in future videos. Without further ado let's start. Let's start, turn on heat mat. In order to remove screen then battery, I actually have this set on my heat mat around 78 degrees to remove any small components from iPads, from any other kind of device as it makes the adhesive a little bit softer than normal. Waiting for a few minutes later, you could feel the heat on iPad, turn off the heat mat and start to take off the screen. We use a disassembler and insert it in the side and basically bend back, it cut the adhesive down the edge. Go ahead and round the corners. Don't work too fast, the biggest part with this is just fatiguing the adhesive and work at getting the adhesive loose. And the thing is you don't need to use a lot of alcohol or anything like that on these. It will cause damage to the LCD most likely. All right now, at this point that you have it opened up you can rest it on your workbench to keep it lifted up. Carefully to open the touch glass like this which connected with LCD screen. There are 4 screws here. We gonna to unscrew them before we can take all the parts off. Carefully to lift the LCD screen up like this, now we can see the battery here. Now, what we want to do at this point is, don't remove the LCD, we need remove the screw that is covering the battery. We just want to loosen it. Then place a piece of plastic as a battery isolation tool to cut all the power of iPad. Now we can complete to take off the LCD screen and clear view these connection cable about the touch glass, carefully to disconnect them. Now we can complete to take off the touch glass. We are going to lift up our digitizer connectors and home button connector from the old cracked glass. Now we got that one out.
We're going to place the home button where it needs to go and align it properly and going to run this long flex down this edge very carefully. Take a little bit of glue and we're going to apply this a little bead going all the way right around the edge of that home button bracket. I am going to go ahead and clean this up that way we can have it ready and prepared for our new screen. Let's get started on this. Cool now we have all of the bulk adhesive removed. Now at this point we're pretty well set to install everything back in the device, test the home button, make sure everything's working properly before we seal it up. So, what you want to do is go ahead and connect your digitizer and your home button flex cable there.
In order to assemble the iPad is the LCD screen and touch glass following the video step by step. Make sure all screws back on the right place and contact all the cables again. Let's go ahead to pull out our battery isolation tool and reinsert our battery screws. So we're going to go ahead and check that out and make sure that everything working properly before peeling our adhesive and laying it down. All right, it's powered up, so let's try. It looks like everything is working fine without get any kind of touch error and home button fells perfect. Time to screw on the rest of screws and put some glue on the edges of iPad. Clean up as clean as possible before put on the touch glass. Perfect. Now we're going to start peeling off the adhesive backing. Before you put the glue on, please check and make sure the power can be on again. As long as you haven't seen any type of debris float onto either one of those, you should be good to close it.
we better peeling backing before peeling off the inside of the digitizer protector. It always a good idea to leave that on until the very end. Check the iPad is working again, then swipe and clean the extra glue and dirt. Perfect! Appreciate your watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and also hit the like button, and don't forget to leave a command below on what you'd like to see in future videos. See you in the next videos.